Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xandor here, welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're doing amazing today, because I sure am as always. And today I have a very different YouTube video for you again. So yesterday I did really, well, yeah, yesterday I did release a different YouTube video being called My First Time in Explain um, Mobile. So, and I thought today I might as well show you my first time actually showing the world my experience in Infinite Flight. So I've gone back a long, long time in my YouTube videos and I've found one of my first ever Infinite Flight videos with the old scenery and I'm just going to talk you through it all so it's a really really cool video if you're new please feel free to like and subscribe and I know this video is being uploaded at 8.30am I know it's a different time but let me know what you think of this time because I'm trying to experiment with different upload times other than that please enjoy the YouTube video okay wow so at first we have the old menu wow that looks so cool guys any of you remember the old menu in Infinite Flight that what I, this must be from like 2017 the infinite fights changed so much and we got the old kilo november uniform charlie that was such a good airport going from canuck to Calaxus. that was la to there it was so so good um but wow i do remember i look at the old aircraft there look at that the cessna and everything whoa and the oh this is like such flashbacks for me right now like the look at that load. That was such a nice loading screen. That was one of the best loading screens Infinite Flight ever had. So the touch screen to calibrate's always been the same, and the user interface has changed a little bit. It's still the same with the boxes and that, but it, I am in an Air Canada. Um, I want to say a triple seven right now. Air Canada. Now this used to be one of my favourite liveries. Fun fact. And did you see that little map? I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to um get a quick screenshot of that map or something in a second but it must come back up shortly oh and an aircraft has spawned in me i remember this actually when the emirates plane spawned in me um anyone remember the this airport the canuck airport and look there were this was what this is pre-global as well everyone this is before global even existed in infinite flight this is some nostalgia stuff so we're loading again um, I think I must have um, got annoyed and moved to a gate next to the um, A380 I'd presume but look at the little map there in the corner and I yeah I, I moved from the A380 and now there's a 747 in me oh well, that's just my luck I'm, I'm in a 787 I think actually not a triple seven um, but no as you can tell my it looks like my username there my call sign it was always November 444 Aki uniform so I'm not quite sure what's happened there but whoa just look at that that's so that's actually really really cool so right now i'm probably i did speak in this video as well but um i don't think that's visible to you guys anymore but that is a 787 i can confirm but this is like when water was animated as well in infinite flight so any of you who have played infinite flight for over three years you um must be able to um like um, remember when water was animated if you guys do remember when water was animated please let me know down below but this is when like scenery was actually like as well but I do remember like proper old school infinite flight this airport used to be a rave it used to be the place to go for training at server and casual server as well um, I do miss the the two e um, 737 that we've just seen so I might give that a go I think I was trying to watch the plane take off there or land but it wouldn't load in for me because you know typical I was, I was literally on my old iPad which is really really old now I had to get I've got a new iPad recently so that's why I use infinite flight now so as you can see we had a few oh wow the ATC is so different and just look at that map look how nice that map is like I do miss the old map when water was blue um, infinite flight any of the infinite flight developers are watching this right now if you guys I think a really cool thing if like you could make land mass if you could like like not properly color it in but like color in the map in the way you know what I mean so like it would, like Africa would be like in the desert region of Africa it would be kind of like yellowy and the sea would be blue I think that'd be a really really cool add-on for infinite flight especially looking towards the future but I'm not too sure if that's gonna happen and look we have two airplanes on the runway right there but I think I was trying to figure out how to request taxi I just gotta press the button but of course I am not aware of that because I'm stupid now wow just wow so what am I gonna tax do you not Everyone, if anyone's watching this, I might do a flight going from this airport to LAX just to remember old times and yeah, just fixing my volume like I typically did back then. And look, look November 444 Echo Uniform was always my call sign. I'd just been cleared to taxi. So, of course, always using ATC to my best of abilities. I'm not sure what I'm doing with my trim there. 
Um, and my flaps, why am I doing that now? I should have requested taxi ages ago. And my brakes are still on and I've put... Okay. This is what... I used to taxi of autopilot, everyone. So I didn't go too fast to see. So this is... Oh, wow. To be fair, that this is this taxi is better than my taxi in right now. I'll be honest. <laughs> my taxi in... Oh, and that plane, that... Vir oh, my gosh. Virgin Australia, 777. Like, these are like aircraft that used to be so popular that you never see. Oh wow, I do I do miss that. I flew with Virgin Australia when I went to Australia. Funny enough, how ironic is that I flew with Virgin Australia in Australia um, when I went to Australia a few summers back. So that was really cool. Um, but you just see, and this plane's just taxi right through me. So this is like casual server on a brand new level. Yeah, fully redefined casual server there, haven't I? oh my gosh and there's like a cliff edge and he's just taken off and this plane's out this is manic um i was calibrating i have a calibration maniac whenever i'm in infinite flight when i'm taking off or landing i'm always calibrating making sure it's to the best of the abilities and look how busy that was this is infinite flight a few years ago look how busy it actually was it must be busier than some airports in infinite flight nowadays like this airport's seen like no traffic in ages i think my flaps are in 20 degrees as well which is a bit too much can oh sorry pardon me considering i'm just hopping over the atlantic yeah i do apologize to that everyone um yeah so that is that's really fascinating actually so i'm not quite sure what i'm doing now i think i'm trying to stay center line by tilting the device trying not to use the rudder to the to my abilities now that is wow that is very very crazy so we have an aircraft in front of us which will limit our speed as well on our taxi and infinite flight that's my first time showing the world um infinite flight from my device and i'm really glad i have this footage so i can make this video now um on on infinite flight so i can just show you guys my um my stuff um so just look at that and well, I reckon I don't have the heading enabled. So I do miss this old user interface, having approach and like most aircraft. But I do prefer the new one, I'll be honest. So I want to know how bad my takeoff's going to be. I probably did a tail strike, I reckon, everyone. Let me know whether you down below think I did a tail strike in this. Now this video is getting a bit long, so I'm going to skip to the bit when I take off. Alright, so I'll skip to this bit so I can show you all the map again. Just look at the OG map. It's still got, like, the airspace circles, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go over to Los Angeles, I believe. And look at Los Angeles. It's still, like, it's green. I know Los Angeles is yellow now in Infinite Flight. But look look at the colour gradient. Like, if you guys saw that colour gradient, that's what I mean by Infinite Flight. If they could add that colour gradient stuff back into Infinite Flight. Right, anyway, I'm going to skip to my takeoff now and see, and hope I don't get distracted again. All right, so here we go. I've just been given the clearance for to line up and wait. All right, so here we go. We are probably asking for takeoff after being in permission to line up and wait. This is some proper new stuff from me, X and Tori, right? Okay, here we go. Runway 24. Okay, right, this is getting... What, what, a plane's probably going to land on me. I really wouldn't be surprised if that happens. So we got a little propeller plane. Is that a Cessna there on the far left? I can't identify it. The quality on this video is not the best, I do apologise for that. If any of you have made this far in the video, I'm really curious, so let me know guys down below. You know any of the random words that you can say to let me know if you did make it this far in the video. So that's really, really, oh, okay, Calibration Freak once again. Look at the animated walls and a plane land. Oh my gosh, it's the Asiana livery, look at that. Do you know, the audacity of that guy to land through me is through the roof. That's crazy, what is he on? Oh my gosh. I'm all, how fast am I rotating at? I can't see. That. I think I was like, oh my gosh, our tail is no more, people. Right, we are airborne, anyways. That's what that's what counts, right? The fact that we're now airborne. Now, what am I doing? Th th there were three aircraft in the runway. I mean, I listened to ATC, so you know, I wasn't in the wrong there at all. Um, okay, so our vertical speed is four thousand, you know, as you do, um, and we are now headed we don't even have a flight plan field like we're just flying vfr to um los angeles and look at the terrain and the sea look how nice that sea like the waves this is the feature that i really love infinite flight to back it would make pacific crossings and atlantic crossings so much more interesting if they could add like gradients to the water and that just like there is here but this this island is basically the airport it was it's um really cool and amazing so 
Well, huge well done to that then. So, we're coming towards the end of this clip now. So, if you guys did enjoy today's YouTube video, please let me know down below. You can do that by leaving a like. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're brand new and watching this video for the first time. This is a new type of video, but I'm probably going to do another video based on Infinite Fight in 2020 in a comparison or something. But this clip is wow. So, I didn't actually have the landing, unfortunately, because I ended it. And I probably just quit the game. I probably raged or something like I used to in Infinite Flight. But other than that, good night and I'll see you in tomorrow's YouTube video. Are you after some new clothes or something to keep you warm? Well, I know just the place to go. Head over to the Exentorium merch store where you can buy anything. Go from hoodies to t-shirts to even phone cases now. Go check out what's there. Thank you. Find your way.